Yeah. I have two types of bacon. I have the Bar S, which is the cheap bacon, but it's supposed to be a thick cut. And then I have a much more expensive bacon, which is the Black Label Center Cut bacon that my son bought. It's a little bit thinner, and it's a lot shorter, too. So I'm going to try this in my air fryer, which is my favorite. I'm going to do it on top of the stove. I'm going to do it in the oven. I'm going to do it on my tabletop breville convection oven, and I'm going to do it in the hot pot. Doesn't that sound crazy? Microwaves are for cheating. We're not using the microwave. My first experiment is I'm going to put all this in for 10 minutes and see what happens. everything on five criteria. Ease of use, time, the amount of fat released, the texture, is it crispy, and then just the overall feeling and experience of the bacon, what I would like to eat. I get up early in the morning, except when I'm self-quarantined, about 5.30, and I love to pop bacon in and make a really quick keto burrito and off the road I'm, I am. So we'll see if I maybe find a, a better substitute with my little experiment. So everything is going to go in, everything is going in cold, everything is going to be put on for 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. And my 10 minutes is up. I cooked this bacon in the air fryer. As you can see, it's crispy. This is the Bar S, the cheap one. And this is the Hormel. As you can see, it doesn't lay particularly flat. This one was the bacon just in the regular pan. As you can see, it got really flat and crispy. I had to turn it. It's the only one I turned out of all of these. This is the bacon and my This is the bacon in my countertop Breville convection oven. And my failure was my hot pot. I tried to cook bacon in my hot pot and it wouldn't work. So what I had to do was just take off the lid because it refused to pressure because this was the only thing in there. And I just used the brown saute version for the 10 minutes. Well, it was actually a few minutes less than 10 minutes. And it cooked it. It's edible. I put that in a burrito, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So I have my, I have four of my cooked bacon. And here is the bacon from the oven that did not. Cook. This needs much more time to, to cook up. This one might be okay, but this one needs more time for my taste. All right, now we're going to taste these. And I have a perfect person to taste. I'm going to taste them. I'm looking for crispiness and flavor, obviously, but I'm also trying to see if there's a difference in how they came out. That's the countertop. This is the uh, stove top. This is a little meatier, interesting. My air fryer, again meatier, or hot pot, sorry. This is my air fryer. Hmm. All in all, the easiest one goes to the air fryer. You throw it in there, you walk away. I think the best tasting one, if you like, a meaty bacon, is the tabletop. And the nice thing about that one is that I put a piece of aluminum foil down, and I'm just going to throw that right away. The one that caused me the most trouble, besides that hot pot, was the stove top because I actually had to be close to it so I didn't burn the house down. 
And then I, again, the stove is a fail. And again, the oven just isn't gonna work for those really fast mornings that you just wanna get in and out. So all in all, I'm surprised at how evenly and how quickly all of them cooked up in 10 minutes. I think I'm going to continue using my air fryer, but when I have a little bit more time, I'm going to definitely use going to use my convection oven more. Next, the another criteria that I was going to look at was amount of grease that is released from the bacon. As you can see, well, you may not be able to. There's a good tablespoon of grease there. There really is maybe a teaspoon and a half of grease in here. There's almost nothing in there. And on my air fryer, I'm gonna pour it out into here. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good tablespoon, maybe even a tablespoon and a half. So yeah, the air fryer gets the most grease out of the food, and I like it because the grease doesn't touch it. The tabletop probably didn't get the most grease out, and, the, and your bacon sits in it, but it had the best flavor, so it's hard to know. So this is my experiment. It was a quick experiment because we are bored to death. Thank you. Welcome back. Subscribe. Hit the bell, tell me how you cook your bacon, and tell me what your favorite preparation of bacon is. None of this is gonna go to waste. We're next, we're gonna make our family breakfast burritos and get our day started. Thank you, bye-bye.